it's me Trish the Purple Yarnivore. Welcome to my channel. Hello to all my new subscribers and all my returning subscribers. Hello, hello. Well, I just got off work. <laughs> so excuse me if I'm a little scattered. This is my second time making this video and my first one was so horrible i had so many distractions going on so hopefully everything has settled now <sighs> you know i have two cats no there's a total of three cats in the house okay two of them got along famously at first when they first my sister's cat is staying with us along with my sister and you know, of course, at first, two, you know, cats, they need to adjust to each other and learn to get along. And then, like, for a couple months, they got along famously. My cat, Zevo and her cat, Sophie, were, like, best of friends. They played all the time. And then just within the past couple weeks, all of a sudden, something in one of their brains, some switch was turned on. And, like, now they fight like I don't know what it is like they really fight you know part of the day they're playing and getting along and chasing each other and then all of a sudden like I said some switch goes off in one of their brains and it's a fight and oh my god I don't know what it is they have little spaces to get away from each other they have high places they can go to I know, I watch Jackson Galaxy. <laughs> I don't know what it is. My sister's cat isn't fixed. Maybe she needs, you know, a little trim. <laughs> All right. I have a reason for making this video today other than talking about cats. <laughs> so here's the thing. Let's see if I can make this a little more focused. Bring my brain in, you know. <laughs> Miss Hootie Hootin'in, she did a three color challenge for a giveaway that she was having. So how it worked with her was she and her husband formed teams. One team was her husband's team and the other team was her team. And they randomly chose three colors for his team and three colors for her team. And her subscribers or whoever wanted to jump on board with this challenge chose a team that they wanted to be on. Well, at the end of this challenge, she put everybody who participated into a giveaway and then that was the end of it. But me, no, I can't let it go. I just can't let go <laughs> I did not participate in her challenge giveaway but it was just a fantastic idea and I thought why does it have to end why you know I don't think it should have to end I think this should go on and on like my heart <laughs> So I, I sent her an email and I explained to her, I think it should go on and on, not as a giveaway like hers was, but as a three color challenge. She thought it was a great idea. So, you know, keep, this is all, all the credit goes to Mrs. Hootie. Okay. Mrs. Hootie Hootenin. All the credit goes to her. I'm just. I'm just carrying on with it. I'm just taking it and running with it. So, here's how it works. I did change up some things. I did change up some things. Because this, is, like I said, this is not a giveaway. It's a challenge. So, here's how it works. I have my sister, okay? While I was gone and out of the house, she put some solid skeins of yarn and I told her, make sure it's all the same weight, but she put a bunch of solid skeins of yarn in a bag. Okay. And what, how this works is I will choose 
random like this is all random i have not seen what she put has she has i have not seen what she has put in the bag this is a surprise to me so that when i draw three skeins out of that bag it's going to be a surprise you know i don't know what's in the bag so the rules are it i am pulling three skeins out of the bag i will tell you how much of each skein I have, whether I only have that one skein, whether I have six skeins or three skeins or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to pull three skeins out of the bag, and those are going to be the three colors for the challenge. Now, here's the fun part for my subscribers. You guys will tell me what I should make with it, whether I make a blanket or a hat and scarf or a sweater, whatever, you know, cardigan, what have you. You're going to tell you as my subscribers, my YouTube family get to decide what I make with this yarn and keep, and I, I'm telling you how much I will have of each skate so that you have an idea what kind of project I can make. Obviously, if I've only got one skein of each color, three skeins, is not going to make like a big blanket, you see. So I'm working with what I've got. So I pull out three skeins. I'm going to tell you how much I have of each of those colors. You guys are going to decide what I make. You got to tell me what to make, but if you have a specific stitch in mind or a specific pattern, please put it in the comment section or email it to me. So don't just say, I want you to make shell stitch. You gotta tell me, I want you to make a shell stitch blanket or a shell stitch hat and scarf set, you know. You have to be specific because you are deciding what I will make with this yarn. Also, the three color challenge is extended also to all my subscribers. So if you have the same color yarn or very close to it, after it is decided what I will make with it, you guys can also jump on board and make some, do this same challenge with me. And then when you have completed what you have made, you can send it to me in an email. Now, in the comment section, as I said, you're going to tell me what I make. And the most popular answer is what I will make. So whatever answer comes up the most, that is what I'm going to make with this yarn. Keeping in mind the amount of yarn I have of each color. Now, I will tag somebody in this challenge. I am going to tag Miss Hootie. I am setting it, I am throwing it back to her because first off, she really promotes creativity and thinking outside the box, okay? I am setting, I am tagging her also because even though it was originally her idea, the rules have changed. <laughs> the rules have changed. So I am tagging Jeanette, Miss Hootie Hooten in, I am tagging Sandy from Crochet A. <laughs> and the people that I have tagged. Oh, I am also going to tag Betsy from Me, My Hook, and Die. And if these youtuber friends decide to participate you also have to take these rules and post your own video and encourage your subscribers to decide what you should make as well <laughs> and we're just gonna tag and pass this around everyone <laughs> so i hope that's clear i will put in the description if it if i've been confused confusing to people I will put in the description how this is going to all work and um this is going to be so fun so you heard who I tagged if they don't watch this video 
you guys be sure to leave a comment or email them and let them know they've been tagged. They are so tagged. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, on to the yarn picking. So check this out. I know it's generic, but I have my sister just put them in a bag because there's all these skeins and we need a bag big enough. So now it's time to choose the three skates. Are you excited? I'm excited, okay. So I'm gonna shake this up. I'm sorry for the noise. And I'm gonna randomly choose three skates of yarn out of here. Alrighty, so my first color, the three color challenge is gray, impeccable yarn in the color True Gray. I only have one of these. So it's called True Gray. And that's what it looks like. Slightly heathered, I think. But it's a gray. I have one skein of that. So that would be 285 yards. I'm gonna shake it up again. And I'm gonna choose another color out of here. And the color, oh, where's the label? Sorry, now I gotta look in here because the label fell off. <laughs> All right, now I have this pink color. It's Lion Brand Vanna's Choice. How many of these do I have? Three of these. Goodness, who would have thought that the label fell off? And the part with the color came off too. That's okay, I'll just grab another one because I have another skein of this. One moment. Okay, so I have four of these skeins in the color Pink Rose. And like I said, it's Lion Brand Vanna's Choice in the color Pink Rose. And I have four of these. So I have one of these, 285 yards. I have four of these. And these are... 170 yards, okay. And the last color I'm choosing. Oh, shake it up, shake it, shake it, baby. Shake it, shake it. <laughs> the next color I'm choosing. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna choose. I don't know what I'm reaching for. Oh, the next color is Red Heart Soft. Ooh, how many of these do I have? One, two, three. I have three skeins of this Red Heart Soft in the color teal. And these are 256 yards. So look at that pretty color. Red Heart Soft. The color teal. Okay, so I've got three skeins of this, four skeins of this, and one skein of this. And these are the three colors for the three color challenge. Okay, now you guys get to decide what shall I make with it? Let me know. And that is the challenge. And we're just going to pass it around. You guys get to participate too. If you have these same colors or colors that are almost exactly like it, jump on board. I will make a video that tells you what I will be making with it as the final answer. This is the final answer. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for this video. Don't forget to comment and let me know what I should make because if no one comments what I should make, then it just kind of ruins the whole challenge. <laughs>
All right, guys, I am out of here. But you guys take care of yourself. Do random acts of kindness. Be peaceful. Show love and compassion and understanding to each other. And y'all stay safe now, okay? We'll see you in the next video. Bye.